This is a jacket. Normally, when you have a zipper, you cram this little guy into there, and then you have one of these, which comes up and down. However, this one is, on this jacket, this item is missing. This is the slider, and it was broken, and we'll show you a little bit closer on that later. <clears throat> I'm wanting to replace this, and what I did was I found a zipper in a friend's sewing basket, and if we can get a good focus on this, the point being that these are basically the same zipper. They have about the same tooth count, they do have the same tooth count. If you can line them up here, you can see that they, they've they got the same tooth count. The width, although they're different colors, the width is basically the same. They're essentially the same zipper, and I managed to luck out on that. <clears throat> this was a short zipper, and it had this end stop on it. which was, this was pretty much how the zipper came out. So I cut this this off. This is the end, this is the end stop. And now this comes off. So I'm gonna show you a little close up of this. Let's see how. If you can see in here, the only thing the only thing that's keeping these two halves together is this post. This post broke and this thing separated and it is it is no more. <clears throat> and I like the jacket so I wanted to keep it and I was looking around for some options and I wasn't finding them. So I've extracted this slider from a different zipper. And if you see, this is the top of the zipper. And we're gonna zoom in. This is the top of the zipper. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna push this over the top peg here. And you might have to crank it a little bit. I wasn't watching. We'll see if you've got that right. All right, so it's on. <coughs> Excuse me. One uh, question that might be logical to ask is if it came on so easy, would you be worried about it coming off too easily again? Well, the thing is, this is the top of the zipper. And normally, this is not going to be hanging out up here unless it's zipped together, at which point it's pretty well locked in. So we're going to bring this down to the bottom. Dissimilar colors, too bad. And that's a winner. We're going to take this out again. We're going to take this out again. Let's see if we can get that off. If we if we come out and then get the focus to work. If you look in here, there's nothing. It's it's basically smooth. All right, so if you look in here, the 
the inside of this thing is basically smooth and it doesn't interact with the zipper directly at all. So moral of the story is you can get something that's close and it should work out okay. It's not like a gear. So yeah, so that was a winner. And this, if you're unhappy with how easily this thing comes off, you could sew something on here as an additional stop or whatever, but uh, hmm. there you are. As kind of a postscript. Um, if you notice, I scavenged this slider from this zipper, which is now going away. Um, another option that you've got is if you have other zippers on the same jacket, you could scavenge one of these sliders from a different one. This is the pocket. Um, I like being able to zip the pockets closed. So we're going to hang on to this. So I, you know, I lucked out finding, hey, ah, whatever. <coughs> so I lucked out finding a, you know, a replacement slider for this. But if it, you know, it, it's it's a little cool out, and if it had been a little bit more pressing to get a slider on this thing, I could have picked one out of the uh, pocket here, or you know, or, or any other. Obviously, other jackets have all kinds of weird sliders on them. But uh, yeah, that's good. Very well.